this yeah. dude's got number six million hits, like I said, and he's and he's <clears throat> went on to be sort of like a YouTube celebrity. So he does some other things. He's and there's and he gets in trouble all the time. Apparently, mm. anyway, I got a hold of him and I had him zoom into the podcast. Why don't we enjoy, enjoy this interview? <laughs> With the drunk lawnmower DUI guy, um, Steve, Steve Jessup. Jessup. Got him here right now, live, uh, somehow via the internet. So I don't know how we finagled this, but we got Steve Jessup right here on the line. What's up, buddy? Hey, man. John Reeve, I can see you. Listen. <laughs> I got to be straight up with you. If I, I sound weird or I flicker, I'm stealing cable from my neighbor. Okay. <laughs> so I, sometimes I don't duct tape wires together right and stuff goes wrong. I just want to <laughs> give you a heads up. It ain't you. It's over here. I'm getting a free hookup. Good to see you, man. <laughs> uh, no worries, Steve. We'll make it work. It looks pretty good, other than that flicker every now and then. But I know you're yeah. good at you're good at building stuff, dude. Because yeah, not only I mean it's crazy how you got kind of famous from getting tased on a lawnmower. I don't know how many years ago that was, but that yeah. video. How, how long ago was that? Oh, man, I think that was like 2007, so like 13 years ago. Wow. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I never really intended for that to hit the airwaves, you know, but I was married back in the day, and, um, you know, to get at me yeah. uh, for dumb stuff I might have done, my, my ex-wife, you know, they send you a copy of your arrest right. on DVD from the courthouse so your lawyer can look at it. I ain't got a lawyer, so my wife just took the DVD and uploaded it on, on the internet. Wow. And, then, and then, the, then the world goes, look at this dumbass getting arrested <laughs> on his lawnmower. Right. Well, I got to say, it's. I'm glad that your wife, ex-wife, whoever captured that and put it up She's on YouTube— dead. I murdered her and buried her in the desert. <laughs> oh, I'm a kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on your divorce. <laughs> yeah, now I am a free man. I'm on drink. I'm not going to get fully buck wild on your show because normally I'll be having some of the devil's lettuce. You know what I'm saying? Oh, some yeah, I'm familiar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I've sm I've smoked my sh fair share of weed back in the day, totally. Oh, uh, I okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm no stranger to the marijuana. Uh, what Man. are you drinking there? What is that, a high life? That's a high life. Hell yeah, dude. That's what we do out here in the shop. That's another reason everything's all wonky and stuff, because I'm hanging out in the shop. Where are you? What what state are you in? I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. I used to be in Louisiana all those times when I got arrested, but I figured I needed a clean start from being in, um, you know, I'm just odds with the law for so long. Right, right. So in a weird way, you're running from the law. You went to Nashville, Tennessee, got your yeah. own little hookup here. And I want yeah. to congratulate you, man, because you turned uh, sort of a negative into a positive. Because look at what look at what it's done now. Your crazy um, arrest record and everything has led to this. You've got your own podcast. I know you got T-shirts and hats and all kinds of stuff. And I know you you invent things. Yeah, well, I do that, but I gotta say, all that other stuff you said, there's a lot of smarter people around me. They know how to work electronics and stuff. I'm good with my hands out in the shop or the garage. Yeah. You know, if you need to work on your Hemi or something like that, <laughs> I can do it, John Ray. All right? You know what I'm saying? But um, it's kind of wild I'm talking to somebody who's so famous. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a COVID cough. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. I've died twice. <laughs> hey, I had the COVID, Steve. Did you know that? Did you? Yeah. Did you give I, it to me? 
I don't know if we can do it this way. I think you're pretty safe over there. Um, but I did have it. And I was I felt like crap for three days, but I'm over to COVID. It's over. Yeah, uh, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Have you yeah, had you any know, symptoms or would you know if you had it? No, because I smoke so much marijuana <laughs> that I, I just don't even know if it's a good cough or a bad cough. Or maybe my taste buds are numb from just smoking too much right, you know, or yeah. drinking too much Johnny D, you know. Oh, snap. Yeah. Dude, what all you got over there? You got the devil's lettuce. You got a high life. You got... Johnny Dickle, I saw that you had a Coors Light earlier. You're prepped. Yeah, I like to switch it up. This is when I feel like this is the countryest podcast. Yeah. I'm like, uh, uh, I'm more redneckish. Right, right. You yeah, would be, I'm, yeah, you're more country than the ish. I'm more ish than the country part. Yeah, I got it. I'm not full redneck, you know, because I like to have long hair when I could have hair. And I like to smoke the weed like the hippies. So I like to say I'm part redneck, part hippie, always a suspect. <laughs> right. Uh, that makes total, that's a good brand. That totally makes sense to me. Uh, part hippie, part, that's me, dude. I mean, I'm not really so much hippie. Right. You're yeah, country ish. I'm right. redneck ish. I got it. Oh, this was but, great. But then I don't know what this is because he was asking about the Coors Light. I like to drink Coors Light when I'm really getting my white trash on. You know what I'm saying? Right. When I'm really feeling down and dirty in the trailer park, I drink some white trash. Then I want to bring it up a notch and maybe have some champagne of beers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really elevate the evening with a couple of nip and tucks of JD. Right. Well, there we go. See, I, I'm a vodka drinker mostly. I like Coors Light. Okay. That's my go-to beer. I feel like I could drink that all day and just have a nice, easy buzz. But right. but the brown liquor, the older I get, the worse the hangover it is for me. I'm mostly a vodka guy, and I just recently started liking tequila. Oh, tequila's good. I got some of that right here. I have <laughs> <laughs> right if you want to watch the whole version the entire episode click on this little square right here or if you just want to subscribe and watch them later click on that little bubble right there and thank you